Hey everybody, this is Cyrus for bestsabercreators.com. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to customize your Silk Experience Amazon web browser. Um, there are some options that you can play with, with uh, on your Kindle Fire. And a lot of them you can access from settings. Once you open up settings, you go to applications, you go to Silk, and this is where the magic happens. For instance, you can force websites to show their desktop view, whereas in some cases you want to see the mobile view. I, I usually choose the automatic view. Search engine, they, Amazon uses Bing, but you can use Yahoo. Yahoo is my favorite. and uh, Google is my favorite, but you can use Yahoo and Google plus Bing. You can, you can block all pop-ups or just ask when you want to get blocked. If you want to be pay a lot of attention to your security and you want to encrypt your connection to Silk, I have it off. You want to clear your history, clear your cache. Sometimes the websites put ca cache that on your on your device, and you want to see the update and or you want to just empty the, your history that you've been doing the websites you've been visiting on your Kindle you can you can use these two options and it, it gets rid of all the navigation history and the cache also get, gets rid of all the uh, files that are sitting on your on your Kindle Fire and you may not be even aware of them but you can get rid of them. Amazon obviously addresses the cookies issue you can clear all cookie data, data if you don't want them to be on your device now this is the stuff that I would do for instance if I'm giving my device to someone else for for maybe a day or something I, I don't want them to be able to track what I've been doing some of this stuff is worth paying attention to I haven't remember all the passwords you can that's again depends who uses your device And, and if you play with this and you find yourself not being able to remember what you've been doing, you can just reset everything and basically get this, the default settings on your device. Now this is the cool part, you can actually play around with different website settings and see how much data is stored for each website and delete them if you want this is this is very useful if you pay attention to details and you, you don't want a specific website to have data sitting on your computer on your tablet that's where it comes handy so this is the individual website data that's for you do that you don't want anyone to look at your p position and uh, your Kindle to send location data to people, just turn this off. I have it turned on, it doesn't really matter to me. That, that, that's about it. it. It's not the fastest browser, uh, Amazon's browser. I, I would have loved to be able to use other options and you can install other options on your device I'm sure but if but if you just do basic browsing it should it should be fine and you can optimize these settings depending on the types of websites that you're dealing with and you should be fine now I'll be back with another video to show you guys more advanced options how to had to do cool tricks as far as browsing is concerned thank you much very much for watching if you enjoyed this please review it or come to best for more tips have a great day everyone